How's it going guys? My name is Tavares and today we are going to remove the rust from one of these two cars. It's that one. Oh yeah. What you are hearing right now is an exhaust leak coming from this 4 liter V8. That exhaust leak prompted me to go underneath the car to investigate and that led me to find this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the rustiest Lexus SC in the world. Okay, I don't actually know that for a fact, but it has to be one of the contenders because look at this. This is the uh, front subframe or somewhere thereabouts. I think that's a subframe. This is part of a subframe. This is steel and it is completely rusted out. And if you look at the exhaust, that is also rusted. There's some surface rust all over the frame rails. And yeah, this is in really bad shape. And it was a real big surprise to me. So much so that I said that I was going to sell this car as a project. Now, when I said I was going to sell this car, I didn't really think it through because when you sell a car, especially when you're moderately known like I am, you don't want to give them this. You don't want to give them basically what's uh, what amounts to cancer on wheels. So I decided that if I'm going to sell the car, I should probably get it up to a standard where it's passable and it's not actually a liability for people. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to remove all this uh, surface rust from the, uh, the bottom end and also tackle this, the subframe and also the exhaust. The exhaust had an exhaust leak and I figured it out because you can see right here, there is a uh, quite a big hole coming out here and I can, maybe I can stick my finger through, no I can't. But there is a large crack right here and that's where all the exhaust gases are escaping and making our nasty sound. I got a new section, well it's not new, it's, uh, it's a used section but it's not rusty. So that's gonna go on here and uh, I'm gonna have to take this off. But in order to take that off, I have to get the front wheels off and then I have to take off this control arm and hopefully this all comes off without too much problem. Uh, I have been dousing all these uh, various bolts with a uh, degreaser, not degreaser, but uh, a WD-40 PB blaster and um, hopefully they should come off. I don't think they will. I think I'm going to break a bunch of bolts, but that is uh, what we do on this channel. So let's get to it. Let's get dirty. I'm going to have to get some eye protection. I am not looking forward to this. Okay, I got the exhaust off and it was a lot harder than I thought. Everything here is rusted. Uh, maybe 40% of the bolts uh, made their way out the way they were supposed to. Everything else broke and I had to uh, use a grinder as you just saw. However, there is a few, uh, there are a few problems rather because uh, there's more than one. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to the subframe today because it's just, uh, it's a really big undertaking. I have to basically, I took that wheel off, I have to take the other wheel off and uh, everything in suspension pretty much has to come apart, so that might take me longer than just today. Um, but when I took off the exhaust, let me uh, show you what, what happened. This, the exhaust basically just came off of this piece, this, uh, this collector pipe. It's not supposed to come off this collector pipe. It was so rusted that uh, all the rust just, um, yeah, it, all, it, all it needed was uh, just a good tug and uh, it came right off. That uh, didn't sound very good. So I'm stuck with a dilemma. 
uh, if you take a look at this, this is the rusted pipe. And as you can see, this is, uh, it's pretty gnarly. I don't think I can weld to that. It is, uh, it is really bad. So I'm gonna have to find this, uh, this section. And I don't know if I can do that right now, but um, I'm gonna have to do that. Or if I can clean this up enough to weld it, I don't want to do that just because you don't you never want to weld to rust rust is something that always takes longer than uh, than you think but uh, we got some progress done today and uh, we're not I'm not ending it there so what I'm gonna do now is all these little uh, surface rust spots I'm going to get a uh, drill with a wire wheel and then I'm gonna hit it with some rust uh, removal or rust um, uh, neutralizer so to make sure that it doesn't go through because this looks like it's only on the surface so I'm just gonna clean that up and then uh, I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this exhaust and that subframe. Isn't rust fun, guys? I love it. I love the fact that it gets everywhere and it stinks and uh, it's hard to get off with a wire wheel, so I have to resort to a chisel and a hammer. But I, uh, I do have a lot of work ahead of me. And uh, since I don't want to just give you guys a video where I am taking apart rust for hours and hours on end, which is what I'm gonna have to do, uh, I'm gonna take this as a given and uh, we are going to pick up Next time with the major work with the exhaust, I still don't know what I'm gonna do with the exhaust. Uh, I might have to get a new one um, and that's gonna take a little time, but uh, the exhaust and definitely the subframe because that is, uh, that is looking pretty bad. But we did have some results. We did take off the exhaust and we did uh, get a lay of the land for uh, how much rust is on here. And it is a lot of work, but it is manageable. So uh, that is a good thing. Um, I'm gonna leave it there and uh, next time you can see some more of this and it shouldn't take this is not a long-term project This is uh, maybe a week and then that's it We're gonna give it a clean bill of health and then sell it on to somebody that really likes uh, Lexus's Lexus SC's uh, this sort of thing and uh, can make it a project of their own But I wanted to give somebody else a clean slate uh, I wanted to give them a car that uh, is not a liability on the road. If you like my video and you want to uh, support me, consider subscribing. Subscribing uh, helps me get the word out that uh, I like to do this kind of stuff even though I have rust in my hair currently. If you want to support me uh, personally uh, for these builds, these builds do cost a lot of money. Not this one, but uh, my SL, my uh, S-Class, Aston Martin costs money. Uh, all this stuff costs a lot of money and it's just coming out of my pocket. You can buy one of these shirts. It's a uh, hashtag wrench every day shirt. And uh, I want you guys to get them dirty. I want you guys to send me, pic uh, send me, send me pictures, guys. I want you to send me your wrench every day shirts and how dirty you get. And uh, I will put them on my videos. But for now, this is me telling you that uh, on cars like this, especially you guys need to wrench every day.